Hello, Michael Fish here with another DCS Essentials Guide to the F-18. And at this one we're going to look at JDAMs. And we have some GBU-38s on board, four of them on stations 2, 3, 7 and 8. And we're going to apply these weapons onto a target site which has got four fixed targets, um, weapons caches, in close proximity. And we're going to do it in two ways. We're going to do it in PP mode, pre-planned mode, and we're going to do it in TWO mode. So in pre-planned mode, what we're going to do is we're going to select the four targets using our FLIR on, on approach as we approach them. And we're going to program them into the weapons computer. And in PP mode, we have the option of holding 10 different targets for separate weapons and they're, they're grouped in in groups of two so the designation on our MFCD you'll see it is PP1 to PP5 and in each of those we can hold two targets T001 and T002 so we'll, it'll be clearer when we're in the air and we conf start configuring these so I'm going to take off now and we're heading to an IP point, which is about 20 miles from the target, uh, which is, uh, allows us plenty of time to set up. And we're going to climb to a high, high altitude and configure along the way. Okay, gear up and airborne. Turning on to waypoint one there at about zero five two. Passing through engine six. So I'm going to configure for air to ground, master arm on and air to ground mode and FLIR on the right MFCD. Passing engines 12, pulling back on the throttle and we can see we have the FLIR already warming up. Okay, so we're going to level up now, we're high enough. And we're going to use our autopilot now. So heading select and barometric altitude mode. We're going to pull back on our throttle. We're going to bring our speed down to around 300 knots for the ingress. So we can see on our stores page we have uh, the only weapons are the J82s and we have guns. So we're going to select the J82s from push button 6. And we can see we have them on four stations. 2, 3, 7 and 8. I'm going to just cycle through to stores two. I like to start at the lower one and work my way up. I'm going to set my auto throttle there. And I'm going to set the fusing on each of those by clicking on push button three and stepping through each one in turn for instantaneous fusing. and back to st stores two so we're currently uh, three miles from our IP point so we're nearly ready to start turning into target let's go back to the FLIR page I'm going to switch to infrared mode and I'm going to push on to steer two on the HSI and I'm going to make it a target steer point So in order to configure the uh, four weapons, I need to go to the mission page and I get there by clicking on push button 11 to, sh to show uh, display JDAM and then push button 4 for MSN mission page. And now we see the five slots which contain two spaces for our targets and what we're going to use is we're going to use PP1 and put two targets in there. PP2 put two targets in there and then we're going to just pick a one by one so 
we're going to now turn onto the target. I will maintain autopilot mode for the moment. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because it takes a bit of time to turn around. And we can see now we're within gimbal limits for our target site. A little bit of cloud in front of us, but we're looking pretty clear. We should be okay over the target site. Checking everything on the hood looks good. Our altitude is fixed. Our speed is okay. And uh, we're pretty much looking at the target. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom into the target using the flare. And doing this, I'm going to push the sensor select switch to the right making a sensor of interest and now I'm going to zoom in. I hope those clouds are not going to get in our way. I'm going to uncage the sensor by clicking on, well I won't do it now until we clear these clouds. Okay, we're clear now. Gonna make sure we're zoomed out fully narrow, that's what we want. And then we're going to slew the cursor by clicking the target designator button in once and then sensor switch to the right to ground stabilize. Okay, zoomed in now. Now we're gonna start designating targets. So the two away from that side, I've now locked into them. I'm gonna select the slot for it and it's T001 on PP1 and I'm going to designate now and we see the coordinates coming up it's designated and now I'm going to step out of that to the next station I need to select a slot for it, this time it's T2 I'm going to move the cursor and once again there's nothing in there and we're going to designate and now we have a, a target point step 3 is now PP2 you have to click it twice and I'm going to move our target check our speed is dropping a little bit more than I need to and designate that and step to the final target PP2 T2 and slew and designate and now what we need to do is not touch the, the, the cursor and not to designate anything for it. We're 6.3 miles away. Go speed up a little bit. And I'm going to zoom out so we can see what's happening. So I'm within range on all those targets. So what I can do is I can start releasing now. And I'm going to release Station 8, gone. Station 2, gone. Station 7, gone. And Station 3 is gone. And now I'm going to slow down, loiter a little bit so we can get a better view of what's happening at the target site. Need to declutter a little bit. There's two in, three in, four in. Four perfect hits. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the TOO. Okay, now we're in bound on the same set of targets. It's for ammo dumps. And we can see they're up on our FLIR. And I'm going to 
make that center of interest by sensor switch select to the right and I'm going to zoom in as much as possible once again target designator and sensor select switch to ground stabilize and put it in slew mode and I'm going to put it over the first target here and we're going to leave it there so Going back over to the left side, we've already uh, set the fusing for our four weapons and we're going to again click on the push button 11 there for JDAM display to get the mission profiles and this time we can see we're in PP mode so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change those to target of opportunity and I'm going to step through them and change them all to TOOs. And I'm going to step back to station two. And we're going to start with station two. Now we're four, four miles from target, so we're free to fire. So I'm going to pickle the first one. And I'm going to select this first of all, and then pickle. And I'm going to move to the next target. Select and pickle. Move to the next target, designate and pickle, and our final target, designate and pickle. So I'm going to go to autopilot mode and zoom out to see what our bombs falling do. Okay, we still have good visibility on the targets. Okay, there's one down. Two down. There was a little bit of time to salute to the next three down. And four down. I think the fourth one didn't, didn't hit the target, but three out of four, that's pretty good. So that gives you an idea of the difference between uh, releasing, designating and releasing and that's TOO mode and pre-plan mode where you can program the four targets and release in sequence over the target site. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting and feel free to like, dislike, comment and subscribe and until the next time this is Fish Out and thank you for watching.